Welcome into Texas women's basketball brought to you by Wells Fargo. Tonight, the Longhorns face one of their toughest tests of the season as they welcome number 21 West Virginia to the Irwin Center since 2013. Trying to get revenge here. Taylor flying to the rack and the Longhorns grab the early lead. Texas now two of eight from the field. Back the other way. Gondrzic spinning around and in. Kaiser Gondrzic, the senior. But she is so aggressive with the ball in her hands. Kaiser Gondrzic, top 40 in the nation in assists and threes and scoring. And there is one of her assists finding edge of four working out and that's why she got in such great shape and I think I remember her saying it was sort of like the old days when I'd wake my dad up at 5 a.m. and I'd be like hey dad let's go work out and uh, she just worked extremely hard this summer to get in the best shape of her life and tre tremendous tremendous young lady Joanne Allen Taylor meanwhile as the second quarter is underway with a huge three Audrey Warren just left the court with her fourth foul already Texas needed that badly mm -hmm. Collier in her previous two games, 62 points and 34 rebounds combined. On the other end, Martinez buries the long jumper. Martinez has added shooting to her game this season. Ebo just cleaning up on the inside right now. She's able to be physical with uh, those post players. Her absence was a big one in the first meeting. Taylor trying to give Texas the lead, and she does. Yeah, and that's the first three-pointer that Celeste Taylor is hitting in a couple weeks. Deeds has got a game-high 12 points. Collier, can she deliver again from downtown? And she does. Charlie Collier, her second three of the night. Final seconds of the first half. Madison Smith, the junior. Dishes it off. Driving at the bucket is Deans. Goes glass and in. That was pretty. I didn't know she had that in her repertoire. Those are the numbers she's putting up right now. It's impressive. I mean, the points are impressive, and she's getting a lot of minutes. It's the rebounding. And answering on the other end is KK Deans, who has now set a new career high with 22 points. Well, and the biggest part of that, just that it was in transition, right? You have to make plays in transition defense. Ebo gets the roll. Ebo looking more comfortable. I know she hasn't gotten a lot of minutes here for Texas this season. Nine in a row. Texas is really slow getting into their offensive set this time. Shot clock down to 10 right now. Lambert buries it. She just got her feet set. She's just really good, especially from that side of the floor. The rebound bounces around. Here comes KK Deans. Three on three. Deans pulls up and gets it to fall. A career high 26 for the sophomore from Greensboro, North Carolina. Shot clock again below 10. Alan Taylor makes her move. It finds its way to Ebo underneath, intentionally or not. But that's just my, what I see from, from standing over here. I don't know if she's having that same thing happen. Lambert drives and deals. Joanne Allen Taylor with a huge bucket from the corner. We're back to a one-point game and a timeout on the floor. To get it inbounds, two-point game, 2.12 to go. Martinez gives it up. KK Deans has had a huge night, and she now has hit a career high 30 points. Alan Taylor races back the other way. Nowhere to go. Deans was back defensively. Taylor denied, and the Mountaineers have the ball. KK Deans scored the bucket. And that'll do it here from the Irwin Center as the Longhorns fall to 13 and 5, 7 and 4 in Big 12, playing a rare home loss for Texas. They're now 10 and 2 at home. Meanwhile, West Virginia. Ten straight victories.